Good day, everyone. I'm Contessa Brewer, live at the news desk. David Letterman takes a shot at the governor of Alaska. And in this case, it sounds like, at least for Sarah Palin, Letterman missed the funny bone and struck a nerve instead. It began earlier this week when he made Sarah Palin the subject of his top ten list. Number two, uh, bought makeup at Bloomingdale's to update her slutty flight attendant look. And... <laughs> The number one highlight is Sarah Palin's trip to New York, uh, especially enjoyed not appearing on Letterman. Well, there you go. Palin was a guest on John Ziegler's radio show and she got a chance to respond to Letterman. For him to uh, pick up on such a, a thing, a distortion that, again, is based on um, a slow news day, evidently, not having anything else to talk about. <laughs> That's uh, pretty pathetic, good old David Letterman. And John Ziegler joins me now. He's a radio host with KGIL, 1260 AM News Radio in Los Angeles, and has previously interviewed Palin and others for his film Media Malpractice, How Obama Got Elected. John, good to see you. Uh, thanks for having me. Always interesting to go out with, with uh, the people with uh, Barack Obama's official network. Uh, now, I know you're very critical of the way that journalists in general have dealt with Governor Palin. I'm, I want to ask you today about your interview with Sarah Palin. Gee, I wonder so, why. So let me begin with, do, do you want to do the interview? You want to talk about this? Yeah, I'd be okay. thrilled to. What, yeah, let, let's go let for it. Let me ask you what Sarah Palin's problem with Letterman was. What was it about the top ten list that hurt her feelings? Well, I don't know if her feelings were hurt. You'd have to ask her. She called David Letterman pathetic, which I think was an understatement, because not only did he call her slutty, you left out the part where he also joked about her teenage daughter being knocked up by Alex Rodriguez in the middle of Yankee Stadium while she was at the game. By the way, I also happened to ask her about Keith Oberman blatantly lying about her allegedly plagiarizing a speech, which she didn't do. I doubt that, that that'll come up on this particular it, network. It, well, it's certainly not going to come up uh, other than your mention in this particular interview, because I want to ask you about David Gee, Letterman I mean. and Sarah Palin. But, but again, if you'd like to talk about that, I'm, I'm willing to go forward with the conversation. Yes? I'll talk about whatever okay. you want. Hit me Perfect. with your best shot. Good. Let, so in this case, it's comedy. To talk about her real itinerary in New York, it's kind of serious, not really funny. Why did she take such offense? She called him pathetic, so she obviously took offense. Why was she so offended by David Letterman? Well, Contessa, uh, since you're a female, uh, you might be a better expert on whether or not it's appropriate to call public figure slutty with for no apparent reason and to joke about her daughter being knocked up in the middle of Yankee Stadium yeah, while she's you know at what? the game. How happened. would you how would you feel John, about that? That's Contessa? actually happened to me and I'm fine. I'm still here. I, I'm, I'm really David Letterman joked about you being no, slutty not and, David and about your not daughter David being Letterman, but knocked it's happened up. to me publicly. OK, well, we'll change topics. Okay. How about this? We just got a new poll out that shows that a majority of Americans don't know who speaks for the Republican Party. In this case, Sarah Palin, we're showing the people who got some of the responses. You've got Rush Limbaugh and, and Dick Cheney and John McCain. What about Sarah Palin? Does she feel at all concerned that she's not seen as a voice for the Republican Party? Let me get this straight. You find this surprising or shocking that because you and the media portray Republicans as old white men, that the public perceives Republicans as old white men, and you destroy you, in a blatant character assassination John, your Sarah interview, Palin's character, in your interview, and the public thinks that she's not worthy of that, at least in some terms. John, yes, in your interview with Sarah Palin, did you ask her any tough questions, or are you functioning now as her spokesperson? Yes, I did. Okay, so uh, you oh, interviewed yeah. her. I'm I asked curious her to... about the information right? you elicited from Sarah Palin. This was a great interview. I urge anyone who's interested in the real Sarah Palin to go to HowObamaGotElected.com. You can listen to the whole 16 minutes. One of the questions I asked her was whether or not she felt dissed by John McCain when he went on Jay Leno, also on NBC, back when he was the host of The Tonight Show, and wow. basically dissed her. Right. And surprise, 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 she gave an incredibly classy answer, far, showing far more class than clearly most people on this network have. I don't really know what to do with that. You know, I was honestly, I'm here to, to give you an opportunity. I consider myself a common sense mm. thinker. I, I haven't attacked you. And for you to right. come on and use those sort of insults insults me. Thank you so much for your time. I do appreciate that. Okay. Much well, more news ahead on Cut the mic, please. Much more news ahead on MSNBC.